What up YouTube? Check out this crazy house in Brushy Creek. I just, I don't even know where to start. So it's 4,000 square feet. It sits on 1.6 acres. It has three bedrooms and two and a half bathroom and another guest room and another living corridor event thing. And it has like a front yard for, I don't know, a bunch of houses, all the houses, whatever houses. Remember, this is a 360 video. You can move your, the angle with your fingertips and don't forget to put it on 4K of quality. So before I go in, check out the front yard. It is enormous. I don't know if you get it uh, with the camera, but you're driving through the road. It's all the way back to the road, uh, the lot here. And you're seeing this entire property and it's kind of cool. You have the properties behind you. They look decent. And then you get here and this house, ah, it's so weird. Check it out with me, all right? Remember to control the angle with your fingertips. Now, I need to make this video short so you won't leave, but I need to show you all the crazy stuff so I don't know where to start. I'll start with the living room. Check this out. So I'm here in the living room, super tall ceilings, maybe like 18 or 20 feet. The windows are new, that's nice. What do we see inside this house? So again, this is the front and the door is here. You have an office. Behind, you have a master bedroom. Above, you have two bedrooms and one bathroom and there, there is no like private access or anything of that nature. Outside, you have a balcony, like a covered porch. There, you know, you have the garage and above the garage, you have a unit. And there, they added an entire structure. I'll show it you from the outside as well. Kind of crazy. There's so much untapped potential with this house. And I'll talk at the end of this video about what I would do with it in order to extract said potential. So we're seeing this thing. You have the formal dining here. You can actually convert it to a living room if you want to. And here you have the kitchen. You know, it's old. What can I say? Hey kitchen, nice to meet you. You're going to die. You need like everything here needs to be gutted. Uh, if you go from here back to the entrance, you see one and then two corridors. W why? 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 Why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. Like this needs to be deleted, it doesn't make any sense. You need to have here a French door, close it, you don't even need like this weird gap, and then you don't have this corridor anymore. If we're going here into the, okay, here you have the powder room, and we go into the master bedroom, this is also kind of weird, because you see it's dark, but why would it be dark if it's the side of the house? Well, because the windows here aren't looking outside anymore, they're looking into the structure. And I'll show you the structure in a moment. And here you have an exit towards the porch. So this bedroom, a bit darker. There, is, there are solutions for it. I would probably put a skylight here to make it a bit brighter with an electric um, a motorized uh, curtain thing. Uh, and if I go into the master closet, again, I'm seeing another, another weird peculiar thing because you have this space and you have a large property, 4,000 square feet, but then you have the, like, no, no, I don't like this master closet. It's tiny. It doesn't make any sense to me. And then I'm going here and I have this diagonal bathroom and another closet that's also tiny and doesn't make any freaking sense. Okay, I'll talk about how to solve this property uh, towards the end of the video. Now, should I go up? I don't have, I don't have the time to go up. You won't, you're not going to watch it. So you're, not, you're going to trust me that there are Two bedrooms upstairs. It's not that crazy compared to this thing. What is going on here? This is a porch. Why do I have a carpet on the freaking porch? It doesn't make any sense. And they painted this white. They kept this red. They replaced all the windows inside, but they kept the shitty like old windows here. <sighs> What's that? What, what, like, what, what do you have carpets? I'm just, I'm, I'm so confused. And then you open up this door and you get into this thing. Now, I'm not going to lie, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I know, yes, you have windows towards the masters and the masters should look out. Yeah, 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 I know. But check this freaking thing out. It's so cool. You have your space to do whatever. You have a bar, you have a room for a gym, for a theater, for a guest room, and for two other things. And then you have this space here that for some reason that I don't understand is like they built into a closet. Like what, where would you make it into a closet? That's like a, that's like a full bedroom here. And then you have this area here because it is not strange enough. 
they chose to do all the plumbing work just for a, let me show you, toilet. Wow, they have toilet and, well, whatever this thing is. And here's the backyard. The backyard ain't that big. It's triangular, tall, eight feet fence. So you have a bunch of privacy. You have trees, that's great. But it's not huge. 1.6 acres and the backyard ain't huge. I don't hate it, you know, I, I kind of like it. And I tell you why, I think this thing, if you put a pool here, you remove maybe one of these old trees, or put it there. You can put a pool here, it will make sense. Um, but I don't know, what would you like? Would you like like a maker property with a small backyard? You let me know in the comments. What are these stairs? Where are they going? Let's check it out. So I'm going upstairs. And I'm ha seeing this thing. It is hot right now. They did not turn the HVAC on. So a full bedroom plus a full bathroom. And because this house was not hilarious enough, they have this feature, a shower that is a part jail cell and a part ship something. It's like my head can barely fit here. What is this thing? Just the saddest shower head I've ever seen in my life. You can make something from this thing, but right now, it's not great. You need to, do, to, to put some work, but once this thing is converted and probably renovated, it will look nice in my opinion. So what did we have here? We had carpet in the porch. Yes, we had break, like neck breaking shower with the saddest shower head. Yes, we had a triangular small backyard on a 1.5 acre lot. Yeah. So what do I think about it? I like it. I like this property. It's so unique and I can see how it can become like basically a diamond, you know, a diamond in the rough. And let me show you what I would do with this type of property. Momento. Here's the garage. Two car garage, by the way, all the size of the property and they're putting two car garage. What about the toys, guys? Like it doesn't make any sense. So what would I do with this property? So. First thing, this wall behind me, gone. Why do you need this? Just remove, bye-bye. You're going to put a support beam there. That's kind of easy, just replace it, not crazy. And then here, the same thing. You can remove this structure. You can app the, uh, the opening. Uh, you need to move the beam, not a big issue. You're using a construction engineer. Then here, with this space, again, this kitchen is a full gut. So you need to apply your imagination and remember, that everything you're seeing will die. You don't need any of this. So you're not constrained. You don't have constraints with this kitchen. I would not keep the kitchen layout as it is. One thing I would do here, and bear with me, it's going to be difficult, but I have to, I have to explain. So because you don't really have sufficient uh, closet space with this property, I would, you see this entire square? I would block this and add this square to here. So basically once you enter, you have his, his and hers closet uh, towards both of your sides. You, do not, you are no longer entering from here. Now you're going to enter from here. Now you're going to tell me, or there is a kitchen here. And I will tell you the kitchen is dead. We got the kitchen, not a big issue. So without the kitchen here, this is going to become a corridor to go into uh, the, the master bedroom. You're going to put here, a bar towards the side, if you're keeping this kitchen layout, or you're going to 90 angle shift the kitchen to here. So you have one kitchen and two here, the island, and this entire thing is a big open space. I know it's hard to imagine, that's why we're using 3D rendering when we are doing it, so the clients can see the concept. And I think that once you do that, this space will become so much nicer. Did I solve? The lighting situation in the master bedroom? No, it is unsolvable with the current architecture. Is it a deal breaker? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. I'm reaching the 10 minute mark. There is no one here. It's just me now. Nobody else is watching this video by now, I'm sure. So hey, or what up? Remember, if you are moving to Austin, contact yourself. But I'm me, so it doesn't make any sense. But if you're moving to Austin, reach out to me. You have my contact information below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.